Today's Excel tip is very simple, but it can save a lot of time when formatting a spreadsheet. Putting a bottom border on a row of cells is fine for column headings on a spreadsheet, but not everyone likes the continuous line it creates when it's used for totals on financial reports. The most common solution is to have very narrow, empty columns between the columns of data. That is tedious to set up and it interferes with using the control arrow or end arrow keyboard shortcuts. You could format the text and headings to be underlined, but then the line will only be as wide as the text or numbers in the cell. What if you could make the underlining wider? If you first format cells with either the comma format or the accounting format, and then format the text as underlined, the underline will extend almost the entire width of the column. And for totals, you can right-click on a cell, choose Format Cells, go to the Fonts tab, and select a double underline from the Underline drop-down box.